Hey, this is Cameron. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. Today, we on this 115 degree day are gonna be looking at why it's so important to mulch. Let's get busy. Okay, well I've done a couple of mulch videos in the past and I've talked about why you ought to mulch. You ought to mulch because it stabilizes soil temperatures. It keeps moisture in the ground um, where it belongs and not just out flying around out in the atmosphere. It uh, creates a kind of a, a layer that eventually breaks down and sends some nutrients and things down into the soil. It helps to reduce weeds and all of these reasons. And I know that it's something to see it as a concept and it's another thing to see it in practice. Okay, well these, today and tomorrow are gonna by far be the hottest days that we're gonna experience this year in Southern California. Today, something like 115 degrees, 117. Um, when I was parked in a parking lot, the car, even uh, when I had it in the shade, it said 122 degrees. Um, so just unbelievable temperatures and plants are just getting beat up by that and they really, really can struggle in this kind of heat. Now, as you know, I've done a pretty serious mulch layer in this orchard and oh my goodness, I'm just looking at my avocados. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna go take a, look, take a look. I'm gonna see what I can do to help them out. Like stat. Ah, uh, okay, that's really bad. All right, well, first thing I wanna show you is the mulch layer around some of these trees. Um, I've got, generally speaking, a four to maybe six inch layer, depending on where we're at, maybe three to six inches underneath every single one of these trees. And what that does is as that sun comes in, it bakes the mulch layer. It's not baking the soil beneath it. And that means that uh, all of that moisture isn't going out. It also isn't increasing the soil temperatures, stressing the tree because it's that, that root system that gets so beat up also. Um, that kind of is the, the heart of the tree going up through the stem. And so, um, yeah, protecting that is really important. That's why these containered trees and plants can struggle so often is because they don't have, um, they're such a small system that those roots get baked and broiled or whatever. So out here it's absolutely sweltering. Um, and I'm gonna go check out a couple of things. One thing I'm gonna point out is I'm kind of, I wanna do a test between soil that has a mulch layer on top of it and soil that is just been sitting out by itself in the sun. Now, knowing that this weather was coming up, I did a pretty thorough watering last night. I may do another one tonight, but I'm gonna check some stuff first because I wanna make sure that the trees have what they need in order to be okay with all of this. The first thing I'm gonna do is come over to this kind of just dirt pile that I have back here. It's been baking in the sun, but shaded kind of like other stuff in the orchard has been. And I'm gonna take a look at what the soil is like with it. Ah, that's hot metal, yikes. Okay. So I might not even be able to scrape some out of here in order to see. Um, if you plant it like my dad has, he has a very small or almost even no mulch layer on some of his trees. And so that's what his trees are experiencing. They're experiencing that heat. Let's go over here to like uh, my cherry tree and just see what we've got going on under here. So when we come down over to this cherry tree and look down over here, I'm gonna pull this aside. Wow, just beneath the layer is this beautiful, moist earth. Again, the first reason why the, the earth underneath is nice and moist is because what's getting baked by the sun are these, are these wood chips. This is taking the beating and not the soil. And um, as you know, you maybe you don't know, uh, wood is actually a very terrific insulator. Um, it doesn't transmit heat, and that's actually a big reason um, why people are able to walk on those burning coals is because they do not do a good job of transferring heat. And so even walking across burning coals that are made out of burning wood don't transfer the same way as if you walked across, say, molten metal or something like that. That would transfer the heat immediately. Let's look at the soil over by these apple trees. These apple trees look a little bit stressed, but let's take a look and see what the moisture and soil look like right beneath here. 
So on the top, it's actually pretty warm and, you know, totally dry. But as I go just a couple of, maybe like an inch below, I'm feeling moisture. You can see it when I do the little compaction test that there is really happy earth right underneath that. So that's a great example. Let's... So one thing is you notice this mulch layer, and hopefully you notice, is that there's a bunch of different sized wood chips in here. And that's a really good thing. Um, that allows airflow to move more easily through it. It has some smaller pieces that break down quickly, it has some larger pieces that create space for air to flow through. So if you're getting mulch, you wanna make sure that, well, ideally anyway, you're gonna want your wood chip mulch to have a lot of uh, different sized pieces in there. That's an ideal thing to look for. I just got this long jujube. Let me take a taste. Look, perfectly brown too. This is when they're usually the sweetest. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hot day like this, a little bit of cool, tasty refreshment. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Let's maybe check one more spot. Let's go over there. Let's go over by the Santa Rosa Plum. That thing's been beat up. That has had no shade at all. It's not shaded at all by that pine tree behind me. So let's go take a look and see what it's looking like. Oh, even better, these blueberries. Let's look at them. These haven't really had a refreshed mulch layer, but it does have some mulch, and so let's see what, if it's made a difference. So these are the blueberries, my candy heart and my sweet treat blueberry. And so as I pull that back a little bit, Right beneath it is this beautiful, it's kind of breaking down mulch, but it's definitely keeping the moisture there. So I think this has made a big difference. Like I'm already sweating just being out here for eight minutes. Something that you might also be aware of is the fact that just like our bodies uh, try to sweat, so that way as that sweat evaporates, it creates evaporative cooling because the heat energy that caused the little water mo molecule to get energized and jump off of my body takes that bit of heat away with it and that cools me down. And so the same type of thing is at play with these, with these trees. So the first layer of defense is almost like a sunscreen over the top, or like think of it as shade almost over the, over the earth. But the fact that it has retained that moisture, if there's any heat and that moisture is able to escape, um, it's gonna take some heat energy with it. So yeah, mulch, 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 mulch. That's totally the way to go. It's interesting to see that this Hass avocado is the most stressed and this is the one that has the least mulch layer on it. Um, the mulch has really been disturbed by some sort of animal that's come and dug over here. And so I'm gonna put some more mulch on here, want us at least a solid couple of inches. Thankfully, I know where to get that from, <laughs> just somewhere over here. And so what are you doing in your orchard? Do you mulch, have you done that? Do you have even a more healthy layer of mulch? Is there anything in this orchard that you're seeing that you think, man, you should be doing that differently, Cameron? I'd love to hear that in the comments. Um, yeah, any questions that you have too. Hey, well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Busy Gardener where we looked at hands-on, real-world example of what it looks like to mulch versus not mulch, what soil looks like when it's mulch and not mulch. And hopefully encourage you, if you haven't done it, if you feel like it's just a waste of time or money, um, hopefully this gives you another look at that. And I can't advocate enough for going and seriously mulching your stuff make such a difference for these trees. Spend so much time watching them grow, the last thing you want to do is to see them die because they haven't got sufficient covering over their root systems. So hey, whether you've got one, one pound of mulch in your orchard or 500, until next time, stay busy.